Hello everybody and welcome to my second Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This tutorial is going to be running through using the range property to select cells within Microsoft Excel. Uh, again you're going to be needing to use Alt plus F11 and Alt plus F8 as your two main keyboard shortcuts. Uh, if we go straight to Alt F11 to bring up our visual editor and we want to create a new module again so right click insert module bring up our module screen and we want to create a sub called select cells open parentheses close parentheses press enter and sub adds itself in automatically and then we want to be selecting a cell within here so each cell has its own cell reference, so that's A1, that's A2, that's B2, that's C3. If you want to select a range, then it would be A1 through to C3. If you want to select a column, it's C, or two columns, C to D, or C to G. And then rows, you've got row 3, 3 to 5. And this is how we're going to reference them in here. Not only does it have the reference A1, but you've also got A1 on sheet 2, A1 on sheet 3, and you've also got different workbooks as well, so you need to be declaring which workbook and which worksheet you're working in. So, first of all, this module is in the current workbook project that we're working in now, so we can just put this workbook so that selects the workbook that your module was saved in and then we want to select the sheet, say sheets open a parentheses and then in the open a parentheses we put the sheet name so we want sheet 1 so I can just paste that in there like that and close parentheses the name of the sheets needs to be in speech marks or it won't work and then you want dot range to select the range and to start off with we're just going to put in the range A1 and again your reference needs to be in the speech marks so close the parentheses and then to select just dot select notice when we click off they all capitalize themselves meaning that we know that we've got that all right and if we press Alt, 11, Alt F11 to go back to this screen and Alt F8 and we run that do you notice it's selected cell A1 if we want to select say a range like this A1 through to D3 we just add in a column a comma saying A1 through to D3 then when we run this run and it's selected those cells that again A1 through to D3. If we want to select a column then we can delete the comma and you just put C colon C C through to C. We press Alt F8 and run and it's selected the column. If you want to select more than one column then pretty simple just change that to E and then this will select run column C through to E and you can do that for as many columns as you like and same for rows instead of using the letters you just use the uh, numbers so range 3 to 3 press Alt F8 and run and it's selected 3 and if you want to put in 10 and run that then it will select 3, 3 to 10. Uh, that's, that's basically the range property. You can do a variety of things with it other than just select. Uh, you can work them all out. If you type range separately and put dot then you get this little box and this shows you all the things you can do with range. So you can change the borders, you can change um, you can clear whatever's in them, you can 
change the values of them, you can make the values equal to different things. You can do a lot of stuff basically. Um, but before I go into them, I'm going to be going over in the next tutorial how to use the cells property, which is similar to the range property but it's a little bit more useful. Uh, range property is just a shortcut for using the sales property really. So thanks for listening and I hope you, you carry on listening to the rest of my tutorials.